I plan on winning this. Everybody here has invented something revolutionary that didn't exist before today. <laughs> I thrive off the nerves of my competition. If I don't, then my, uh, my future as a computer scientist would be over, right? <laughs> And I will win for the third consecutive year. I've developed an app that tweets every time you take a bite of pizza. <laughs> People call me the Codenator. Like the Terminator, but with code. The Codenator. Welcome to the Wizware Hackathon judging session! Guys, remember today, as you present your live demos and compete for the $25,000 cash prize, most of you will go home losers! Well, let's bring up our first team, the Pizza Boys. All right, well, let's bring up our next team, Open Bionics. Give it up for Open Bionics. Where the hell are you, Mike? We're up right now. There's no way I'm going up on my own. I don't even have the computer. Strange, Mike hasn't shown up yet. The, for, the emergency room? Seems your only option is surrender. Yeah, no, of course I can go off my own. Yeah, yeah, everything's great. Great. <laughs> All right. Keep it going, guys. This is a big... Can I win? Big deal. Let's get a picture here. Oh, wow, I'll grab you. Yeah, um, bloody hell. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't like wearing this at all. It makes me feel like I'm trying to fit in. It's not useful at all. Well, actually, I suppose there's a few things it's good for. How are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. So we want to make affordable 3D printed bionic hands that move like your own hand. You'll be able to customize them in any color you want. Martha Stewart's actually just came up with her own custom line of colors. Like this one's Robin Blue and this one's Prison Gray. Don't be nervous, Zoe. There's nothing to be nervous about. We're okay, okay? I'm fine. I'm downloading the model for the 3D hand, and, mm -hmm. and maybe you can update the system and upload it to the microcontroller. Well, you know, it's like I've been saying to myself for the past 21 years, every time I wake up, I look myself in the mirror and I say, hola. I don't know how to do that bit of code. <laughs> if today was the last yet. day that you were alive, would you still be doing what you're about to do? And the answer today is yes. Yes, Zoe, yes. Steve Jobs said that. No, I'm pretty sure it was me. It was me. Mike Alvarez. Mike Alvarez. Are you okay? Huh? Yes, I am fine, thank you for asking me. <laughs> Mike and I do make a good team. Honestly, we're still getting used to this whole university thing as international students. I'm from England and he's from Venezuela. I'm from Michigan, I lived there my entire life. You know, so moving all the way to New York was a really big deal for my mommy. Mother. I'm still learning to code. It's like sailing my uncle's boat. I understand how to do it, but there's so many things you can't avoid, like other slow-moving boats that sink when you hit them. Alvarez? Grossman. Codenator. What? Mike is still bitter he lost the Eastern School Science Fair to me. It was fourth grade. Oh, this looks riveting. Thanks, I'm using a 3D scanner on my phone. I know it must be hard to focus in the presence of a two-time hackathon winning champ like myself, the Codenator. No one calls him that. Leave this team. Mike's a hack, a loser, a feather-brained sycophant. Is anywhere here? Zoe, what's your favorite color? Uh, I don't know. Green. Red, I thought so. Behold, Zoe, I built this app for you. Oh. Wait, you're doing this on your phone? Changing the colors of New York City's most iconic buildings, yes. Yes, I am. Okay, that sounds very illegal. Of course it is. Actually, uh, one click of the wrong button and I can cause a blackout from here to Mississippi. <laughs> this button. Mm -hmm. Eight. Join me. I'd rather go to Mars and set myself on fire, so that's a no. Well then, you should prepare for your inevitable downfall. My coat is more elegant than the Queen of England. Dinner tonight? No. You, 
Are you reformatting my code? No, I was not. I was actually just... Can you just please not put your hand on... Um, your el elbow, b b b b part of your... My arm. I'm so sorry. My arm. Oh, your arm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Just... There. How'd you do that? Just yeah. added a semicolon there. It's quite obvious, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to do it when you came back. <laughs> sorry. I was about to do that, too. So right now we're printing out a prototype of our hand for the live demo, and I think it's going to turn out quite nicely. Did we do it? Did we do it? Wait. Where are the fingers? Yeah. Dude, where are the fingers? This is the weirdest looking hand I've ever... This is, does this look like a hand to you, ma'am? Does it? The commander wrote was ditto, but I must have misspelled it as dill. It's not a hand. It's like, it's, it's, it's like a donkey's leg, but like upside down. It's what a woman is. Female donkey? No. Wait, 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 okay, no, listen, she... listen to me. We're supposed to, we need to win this, mm -hmm. right? Because otherwise my parents, they're not gonna let me go back for Christmas. Just like fourth grade. Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. <laughs> just... Okay. Yes, I'm crying. Okay. It's just so hard, and we try, we try, yeah. we try, and all that we get is a donkey's leg. Mm -hmm. A donkey's leg. My parents have high expectations of me, but you know, it's really helped me strive for perfection. Like this one time in elementary school, I got this B plus, and they canceled my birthday. We printed the hand. See. Right now I'm just finishing up the assembly. Mike's programming the software so the hand can make realistic gestures um, like point and move. Right, Mike? 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 Oh, for f I haven't even finished the code for the hand movement. Oh, mama. It's all right. I'll just do it myself. Oh, God, I need some sleep. I'm a winner, Mom! I am a winner! Wait, where? Oh. oh, crap, what time is it? The code grip is probably full of bugs, but I did my best to set it up. I haven't had any sleep yet, so I thought I'd maybe... Did you it. finish it? I'm coding as fast as Mike now, and that's just with one hand. Though, I'm pretty confident he'll find anything I've missed. I mean, he always does, doesn't he? Regrettably, my uh, teammate couldn't be here today because he broke his cuticle bone. Cuticle bone. Uh, really painful, like childbirth. I'll show you how our bionic hand moves like a real hand. Intern, you've hacked their system flawlessly. <laughs>